Hey, so in this video, we will learn how to host our Django project on Python anywhere and that too in very simple steps so that even a beginner can do that. So for that, let's begin. So first of all, I'll show you my project, how it works. So I'll first run this at my local. So let's see. So the local host link got generated. And see, this is my project. Uh, like if I click on sign in, it will come to this page and on click of submit, it will generate one portfolio link. After clicking on one portfolio will get generated. So how we can host this on internet so that everyone can access it. So see here, now it's running on my local host. So to host on internet, we'll be using pythonanywhere.com and you have to visit this website. I'll put this link in the description and from there, you have to create a beginner account. So you will have to provide username code Gyan. And let us register once again. So see here, uh, you will come to this page and here you will ask you to read this and you can click on read this and you can click on the next. So I will skip this and click on end tour. And see here, we are provided with dashboard console files web task. So you need to click on console and click on open link in new tab. Same for the files and same for the web. So once all these threes are open in one tab, go to the web one and click on see here. I come to web or you can directly click on web and come to this page. And from here, you need to select add a new web app. Click on the next and see here. See here. You can directly go by clicking on Django or you can go by manual con configuration. So I'll prefer to go by uh, manual configurations. So I'll select Python 3.10 and click on the next. So it will take some time. So see, uh, our app is generated here. I'll click on this and open link in new tab. So see here, one page is coming like hello world and some content inside this. So what do we need to do? We need to change with change this with our original app. So for that, we need to open the file. File. So I had already opened the file. Sorry. Now this is the file one. So here you need to click and on upload a file. Once you click and upload a file, you have to go to your directory where you have saved your files. So see here, uh, I have saved this on portfolio chain. So see, uh, you cannot select the whole file. You can only select one file at a time. So we need to upload our upload our whole project. So for that, what we can do, we can compress this file. So here we are not getting the option. So we'll move to the finder and see here. I'll click on compress file. So one zip file will get generated once it is done. So see here, portfolio gen got uh, generated here. We'll move back to the selection and we'll select this. So. Now it started uploading, see it's, so see here, our file got uploaded here. So what do we need to do next? We need to open the console. So see here, I had no consoles running. We have to click on bash. So uh, see, you do not need to type anything until it, uh, see, once the dollar sign uh, becomes active, now you can type your command. So first I'll check the ls. Uh, so see, here we are getting one file, portfolio gen.zip. See here, this file is coming here. So we need to unzip this file. So for that, there is command unzip and we'll type the name of the file. So I'll just copy, paste here and you need to press enter. So once you press enter, it will start extracting the files. So it will take some time. So see, it's done now. So we'll move back to our this folder, uh, this files section and we'll click on refresh. So see here, portfolio gen got created here. So what's our next step? We, we can close this now console and we can move to our web app and see we need to change some things here. So for that, we need to add source code. So source code address will be this. Uh, this location will be our source code. Complete this. So we'll copy this, move back to this place and just paste it here. I'll check it once everything is correct or not. 
so everything is fine just click on correct button and it will change the uh, once you are done with changing the source code directory you need to move to this static files here you need to uh, give your address to your static files so give this slash static slash and press enter and then the directory so where your static file is located so uh, i'll show you where the file is located so this is my root folder of portfolio gen uh, actually we'll move that so this is the main folder that contains the whole project click on this and see here our static file is located so we'll give this and we'll move to the this static url enter this and portfolio gen and after that after portfolio gen see here where it was uh, we are having one folder static so if you want to access any file from this folder we need to also give them static here st8 and click on this correct button so we have all, uh, added static file now so let us reload our code gen project it might take some time so once the reload is completed let us open this once again so see still it's coming the same so why it's coming the same we need to also edit this file wsgi configuration file so click on this open link in the next tab new tab and see whatever these these files are first we need to delete these and we need to find django so see everything uh, except the django we need to delete everything or we can leave it also because everything is commented so see from here our django starts so i'll comment every uncomment everything you can do that by selecting all and uh, pressing controls plus slash button together and see here uh, it's saying that path assuming your django settings file is at this 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 location but actually uh, the name of my location is not my side so our name is here our django project is located here so we'll just select the name of uh, parent directory and copy and from here one second wsdi file we need to change our this my side to our root folder name see here it's saying if the manage.py is located at my side so we need to just give the parent directory here where your whole project is located portfolio gen and in the my settings here also you need to change the same and you need to save this once you are saved with this file close the file i'll make sure everything is correct yeah now i can close this file and then go back to our this page and click on reload code again once again so it's reloading now so see reload is completed let us open our link once again and see see our project started working so as you go upload your project to this uh, this uh, website your sql lite database will be reset so for that if i try to give my old admin admin user id it will not log in see it's coming back to the same page so i'll register i'll give admin and any username and password i'll give the same and see our project got registered and started working see it's taking a bit time to load okay okay uh, let us give some data so see you i have filled all the things and we'll click on submit button and see my portfolio link is generated i'll click on this and see all my project is working with fine and we'll go back log out this so this way you can upload your project on python anywhere and host your django project so this is all about this video if you have any doubts you can comment down below and thanks for watching uh, i want to reach 1 million likes so please sarap sapara sarapakara sarapakara sarapaka sarapakara sarapakara yes yes